So hi, it's JR from Altex, and I'm here with Jessica Hadel, who is one of our first ambassadors and, and one of our longest users. And I'm excited. This is our first uh, Altex style chat. We wanted to highlight the work that some of our ambassadors are doing and talking about different things, outdoor photography. So welcome, Jessica. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Uh, it's easy to see just from the backdrop and, uh, you know, hopefully some of the people have seen your profile on our on our uh, website and, and a lot of the award-winning uh, work that you do. Uh, we thought we'd start with how you got started into photography. How, how did you get into this? Well, a long, long time ago, um, I discovered my mom's 1974 uh, Minolta SLR camera, which is actually on the shelf right back here somewhere, one of the mix. And um, I used to love to play with that camera. And I am from the age of film, not um, directly digital. I am old enough to have shot film. And um, yeah, I started back in high school. Uh, um, you know, when I, I got into high school, at uh, a middle, middle school, we suddenly had a dark room at our access. And um, yeah, I started taking uh, classes back then. And um, it eventually has led to a career in uh, photography. I'm a freelance photographer, so I, I don't do um, studio work very often, but what that means is it allows me to travel a lot with my photography. So there's always an adventure in that and um, going to new places and, and meeting new people. And I think that's one of the best things about being a photographer is it's different every single time you go out to do um, your job. I kind of come um, at my photography from a journalistic style. Um, so. I shoot a lot in the outdoor industry, but specifically in the fishing industry now. Because you're on the go all the time, in a sense, you have to carry your studio with you, right? You have to have most of your gear at least handy, and then you're constantly on the move. Even if you're on a boat, you know, there's always movement going on. So let's talk a little bit about gear. Uh, what kind of gear do you use? I actually shoot with quite a few camera bodies on a shoot and so I don't like to change my lenses if I don't have to in that salt air. Um, and then when it comes to my Outtech system, I always have my Outtech system with me on my uh, fishing photography shoots. Um, I always use a dedicated camera for my Outtech system. Um, currently I'm using a Nikon D810 and I always use the 14 to 24 millimeter big, big Nikon, beautiful glass lens. For me in particular, when I travel, it's easier if I just have one system set up. And the system I'm using right now is the the big dome port, the 180 millimeter dome port. This is beautiful for split shot photography. I don't know, there's a couple of different sizes. I think you started, you know, you're were, you were one of our early users and you started with the uh, 120 and then you moved to the 180. So I think you've used both. The 180 can give you sort of a uh, more spectacular uh, feel for, for some of the imagery, right? Definitely. And, you know, I, I love that 120 port. If I'm going out by myself on the river or I'm going out with just a best friend and it's not a photography day, it's not a work day. But um, as a photographer, if you do happen to bring your camera with you, you can always shoot stock photography and that's something I always keep in the back of my mind. I contribute to a lot of different magazines in the industry. And so, yeah, if I'm if I'm just having a fun day and I want to travel super light, but still have the ability to do split shots, um, I usually will grab that 120 port and bring it with me. But the 180 dome port is a gorgeous piece of glass. It really is. And I have shot with uh, other underwater systems before and I always um, you know, once uh, Outtex developed their dome port system, I switched immediately. So things that I think about when I'm on location, what if I drop my 14 to 24 millimeter lens? What if my camera breaks? Well, I'm there for a client. They're paying me to be there. It's super unprofessional if I suddenly say, okay, I have i can't take any more shots. I, you know, I've broken something. So for me, having the capability to grab, say, even my mirrorless camera here and set the whole system up using this camera and maybe a different lens, it's uh, it's priceless when it comes to um, my kit in the end. And as soon as your camera becomes obsolete in any of those other systems, like a hard case Aquatech or your Icolite, you have to sell the whole system. 
One of the things that I've always appreciated about, you know, one of the many things that you bring to our great relationship is, is your MacGyverness. You know, I, I've always been impressed by how you can think outside the box. I have to say that we've learned, uh, you know, just as much from you and we try to incorporate a lot of that feedback, which we try to build that into the, the development. So it's, it's very rewarding to, to hear that. So thank you. I know I have the ability um, to shoot a wide variety of things, but I've never wanted to be hindered by the gear I have. I want it to only um, allow me or give help give me the ability to capture the images that I can I see with my eyes. And so I'm always um, a big fan and a big advocate for really functional gear that's super fluid and can fit into your system that doesn't hinder the process, that just enhances it. I, I just want the gear that will make my job easier. I don't even have to think twice. I just know it's there, I know it's gonna work and it, it then allows me to concentrate on what I'm there for, which is to shoot the imagery. So. Awesome.